Well, turning to today's weather, dark storm clouds could be seen moving across the area this afternoon as heavy rain fell over Portland. What a sight. And Coin 6 meteorologist Josh Cozart explains what we saw earlier today. An ominous sight seen over the Portland area Wednesday afternoon. A shelf cloud brought a round of heavy rain and stormy sights to the area. A shelf cloud is a shelf of low hanging clouds that moves in front of a round of heavy rain. It's the rain that pulls the cold air down towards the surface. That pushes warm air out and up, cools it, and forms the low ominous clouds. Wednesday's cherry on top, a nice rainbow appearing over the city after the heavy round of rain. And now much different pictures being shown as we take a live look over downtown Portland from the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to our Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera as we sit at 44 degrees. So a very active afternoon for us eventually calming down as we still anticipate to see maybe a stray raindrop or two. So we now take a live look from the heart of the city. 44 degrees is where we currently hold steady and those on again off again rain showers taking us well into the early morning time frame. But you'll notice the temperatures stabilizing in the mid 40s as for the winds remain out of the east southeast at about 10 miles per hour. We've managed to fill up the rain gauge quite significantly over three quarters of an inch for Portland. Just the same for Troutdale, McMinnville and over an inch out towards the coastline out in Astoria. This helping to chisel away at the drought situation along the coast and for Portland completely clear of any drought. No surprise after the very soggy conditions we've experienced this month, but we still hold on to the abnormally dry conditions for the high terrain of the Cascades and the southern Willamette Valley also holding on to the moderate drought and we'd like to chip away at some of the severe drought that remains just on the east side of the Cascades as the moisture kind of fizzles out as it moves over the high terrain of the Cascades falling in the form of snow. But we're watching this next batch marching its way into the Willamette Valley. It's almost one hour. We're raining in Portland. The next we're dry and that's going to be the trend that we continue to see over the next several hours as right now we are in the pause of the rain showers but they are marching their way from the west to the east. So let's take you through the rest of this evening with our future cast those southerly winds, keeping those temperatures in the mid 40s for many of us. Snow continues to fall over the Cascades where we like to see it as we slowly dry things out for tomorrow evening. That's going to be our break from the wet weather. By the time we get to Friday morning, your commute, it will be on the wet side. This next batch of heavy, persistent rain continues for the majority of the day on Friday. It will be a super soaker event as temperatures are knocked back a few degrees thanks to the widespread cloud coverage. Lack of sunshine on Friday, only getting up into the upper 40s. And that's all because of our atmospheric river. It's a river of water above our heads stretching from the state of Hawaii into the Pacific Northwest. And you've got to remember our friends out towards the San Diego area seeing devastating flooding. Now an atmospheric river. So close eye is on that system as it approaches, helping to fill up our rain gauge close to almost an inch by the end of the day on Friday. We're talking about two, two and a quarter inches possible for parts of the coast as the snow elevation level retreats back up to about 4,500 feet. We're talking about eight to 10 inches of snowfall for those skiers and snowboarders, only adding to the base layer at 105 inches for Timberline Lodge Meadows right now at about 91, as we've seen several inches fall over the past 24 hours or so. So here's the breakdown for tomorrow. Low 50s for us out along the coastline. Winds gusting close to about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Low 50s for us along the Willamette Valley. Again, on again, off again rain showers very likely as we warm things up into the 40s out east and for the high terrain. Expecting to see those snow elevation levels remain above 4,500 feet. So the super soaker event, that's Friday. The atmospheric river moves in, drops our temperatures to the upper 40s. But just look, Sunday, almost 60 degrees, a few lingering showers. We hold steady with the above average temperatures by almost 10 degrees above normal for Monday and Tuesday and Monday. That's the day that looks to be the driest over the next week. Man, I feel like we have to buckle up yet again because this is a big temperature swing we're experiencing. And that it is, <laughs> one extreme to the next. All right, thanks, Josh. Yeah. What's happening in sports, Adam? A whole lot, Josh.